Okay, we're going to do this uh, project. Well, it's not really a project, but it's a little artwork based on some mathematics using modular arithmetic, which we call mod art because it's based on modules. And so uh, there's also something that's called clock arithmetic, which you, you could use, and you can look it up on Wikipedia. But really, it's just the remainders. And so I'm going to start here with just some examples and jump into it. If I take, for instance, 38. 38, and I want to turn it over to something in base 7. What this means is that I can go round and round and round or keep going with 7s and find out how many 7s are in 38, and then my remainder will tell me what 38 is equivalent to in base 7. So if I go 38 divided by 7, 7 goes into 20... 21, 28, 35. 35 is the number that's just below this, and so this would be equal to 5, and then my remainder would be 3. This is the number that I'm looking for, is the 3. So in equivalency, we put in three of these. Uh, it's like an equal sign, but there's three of them. Can't say that they're exactly equal. And this is equal to 3 base 7. Now if I do 42, base 8. So base 8 is different, so I do this, and then uh, 8, I kind of end up with the same thing, it's 5, and then it's going to be remainder 2. So now this would be equivalent to 2 base 8. If I do 35, well, another way to think about it is how far past a multiple of this 2 am I. Well, if it's an odd thing there, then it's just going to be 1 past it, so this would be equivalent to 1 base 2. 35 in base 11, I'm going to end up with uh, 11 goes into 33, and then I'm going to have a remainder of 2. So that's how you do the modules. So now what we want to do is go ahead and to get this to artwork, we're going to start off with a grid. Now my grid, I didn't make, I kind of hastily did this. But what we can do is we can set up an addition table, and the next one we'll do is a multiplication table. And when we start with these numbers, uh, in base 7, uh, it's kind of like if we're in base 10, we go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Base 7 is similar in that we're going to have the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 0 through 6. So I'm going to put this here, and you have to have a zero in your set in order to make this work. So I'm going to set out the grid as such, and now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to add. This outside, these outside pieces aren't actually going to be part of my art. So if I do this zero plus zero, these should be pretty easy. I'm just going to end up with two, three, four, five, and six. Those are normal and this as well. Now if I go here, 1 plus 1 would be 2, 2 plus 1 would be 3. This isn't going to be very much different either, and there's a lot of patterns here. But now look at what happens. Now i got 6 plus 1. I'm not going to write down 7 because that's not part of my set. I only have 6 numbers that could be remainders for me. So 6 plus 1 is 7. I have 0 remainders. And if you can figure out some of these patterns, you can quickly fill this in. I'm going to let you do that now. So you can check those values. Now on the back side, we're going to do multiplication. And this is also going to do uh, use mod 7. So fill out your chart again, just like we did before. Now with multiplication, we're going to get a much different pattern. And remember what we're going to end up coloring is just in this region in here. And so if I take 0 times anything, oh, this might be as easy as addition. And so I get all these zeros here. But now, and the 1s are also easy. 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now if I take different particular ones, though, this is 2 times 4, which gives me 8. In mod 7, that's a remainder of 1. 2 times 5 gives me 10. Remainder would be 3. So these values are going to be much different than what we had before. Let's do one more and then you can fill in the rest. 5 times 5 is 25. And off of 7, uh, that's 21, it's 4 more than 21, so I'm going to get 4. So you fill in the rest now. 
Okay, so here's the multiplication filled out. Now to do the artwork, what you do is you pick some colors and some shapes and you make what we call a key. And so I can go off to the side here and I can take my values, for instance, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then I can make different shapes for each one of those values because I'm only going to get 0 through 6 in here. And this is back on the addition side. And so for instance, for 0, maybe I make just a dot, a red dot. For 1, I make a triangle. And you can continue on in different fashions, use different colors. So maybe I take this, and maybe I go like this. Now what do I do with this key? Well, I go over to the grid over here, and wherever I see a 2 now, I'm going to color half of it. And this is why you, when you do this with your numbers, you don't want to make your numbers very dark, but you want to be able to see them. And so then I can figure out different patterns that I have here, and the symmetry for addition is quite nice. And I can continue on. And then wherever I see a 0, I can make this dot. Well, that works out good with the zero. And so on, until you get a shape. And what you're gonna do with this shape is you're gonna take it and then you're gonna reflect it over. And then maybe reflect it over and reflect it over again. So you maybe take this one piece and get four pieces from it. And so you get a nice shape. I have some examples in my classroom on the back wall and you can check those out. You do exactly the same thing for the multiplication. What should happen is that you get much different patterns just because the numbers are, are way different. Okay? So you fill that out. Another thing is, is that, and you should do a grid by hand. So your assignment is to do a multiplication and addition table in a certain mod. You can pick which mod you want. Uh, you can use, I shouldn't say what you want fully, but it's going to be 8, 9, or 11, or greater if you want to make it bigger. But I think 8 and 9 are really good numbers to try to do. And you can get some graph paper in the room and start making a grid and filling those out. Once you fill those out, then you can go make your own key and play around and make some colors and make some great mod art. And one last thing to show you is that you can also use the spreadsheet. And with the spreadsheet, you can just program it with a mod. And so for instance, this cell right here would be B1 plus A2 and then comma seven. The seven would mean that I'm doing mod seven. So if you wanna do that in the spreadsheet and print that out, that's another way to do it as well. But at some point in time, you have to do these by hand and, and figure out where these numbers come from. All right, that's it. Have fun with this assignment. And let's see if we can get some great colorful art going.